Yes. Mm -hmm. This idea of purpose of increasing the emoluments or compensation of their office mm -hmm. induces or attempts to induce any person to deposit mail matter in or forward in any matter for mailing at mm -hmm. the office where such officer or employee is employed, knowing that such matter to be properly mailable at another post office. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's the possibility that somebody in office thought that they were owed more than they should receive. Mm -hmm. The emolument. Oh. Now, if I don't use the, the plural, yes, mm -hmm. uh, of the prom support or use of containing any person, any appointed office or place in the United States, yes. Now, this is on page 74, yes. Now, let's see what this is. Oh, <laughs> Acceptance or solicitation to obtain appointment, appointive public office? Yeah. Now, uh, this is, uh, what's this called again? Title 18 Crimes and Criminal Procedure? Yes. This is in the U.S. Code, I think. That's where you'll find it. Now, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, appointed to office. Uh -huh. Acceptance or solicitation to appoint appointive public office? Mm hmm either as a political contribution or for personal emolument, any money or thing of value in consideration of the promise mm -hmm, of support or use of influence in obtaining for any person any appointive office or place under the United States mm -hmm, shall be fined uh -huh, under this title or imprisoned not more than one year or both. Mm -hmm. Now, whoever solicits or receives anything of value in consideration of aiding a person to obtain employment under the United States, either by referring his name to an executive department or agency of the United States, or by requiring the payment of a fee because such person uh, has secured such employment, mm -hmm, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than one year. Oh. <laughs> Now, uh, it looks to me that if you're an employee of the government, uh huh, the offer to procure appointed public office, pff, um, you can actually go to prison for receiving anything in compensation because somebody uh, suggested you to be in a public office. Pff. Now, uh, there's the idea of the non elected uh, county court clerk, Christy Miller. Pff. Now, uh, this political or personal emolument, yes, mm -hmm. there's a forgery on the protection order. Yeah. Now, I would think that somebody got paid to place certain individuals in office as if you could buy mm -hmm. a government job. Yes, if you paid the right person to uh, solicit you to obtain that appointed public office. Yes. Now, maybe the sheriff bought his job. Pooch, you said you ran for office, but as I looked at the last election, it didn't seem like a real campaign. <coughs> as if your parents bought you the job in the sheriff's department. Pooh. Now, let's look at this. Mm -hmm. You uh, received your employment in a public office of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Because of who you know and not what you know. Um, could you get me all of those appointed to office that had sworn that they would support and defend the Constitution? They had a little swearing in? Yes. And get me the oath of office of every postal worker in the United States for the last 50 years. Ouch! Now, I'm going to have to sue the post office and all the employees that have any knowledge. Yes of the fraud of issuing fraudulent protection orders, poop, and then the fraud of issuing a fraudulent dissolution of marriage, yes, that generated uh, two reference numbers, right, <laughs> where the state of Washington is in the fucking mail right now. Now, um, there is in government um, a word, and I forget the, the actual name of it, Let's say I look through the genetics of all of those that are employees of the post office. Yes. And if I find that too many of your relatives happen to work in government, yes, there's something about appointing your relatives to be in government so that there's this genetic network of individuals that are actual relatives. Poop. Now, there are specific laws about employing your relatives in any government job anywhere in the United States. 
well, we're just going to look at the genetics of those in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Now, for a lot of you, you say, well, we've always been in law enforcement. My family's always been in law enforcement. Yes. But there is certain hiring practices of the federal government where some families just cannot control the government. Oh, now, I'm just looking through this U.S. code. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, crimes and criminal procedures. I want the actual contracts for employment. See, you just can't do what the law says because your family's the employees of the government. Yes. You can't arrest your own genetics. Yes. You can't arrest those that are your family. <laughs> Well, I would say mm -hmm. when you solicited mm -hmm. any employee of the government yes, with the intention of receiving some sort of favoritism, yeah, emolument, poo or any sort of compensation for getting them the job, yes, that you actually violated Title 18 of Crimes and Criminal Procedures. And for every employee of the post office that happened to have a family member that said, don't worry about it, I'll get you on. <laughs> My family's always run the post office. We, we own the post office. <laughs> for every post office that is privately owned, yes, give me the actual leasing agreements of the United States Postal Service, yes, the actual owners of all those locations, Oh, yeah. And all those little trucks that have flat tops that you said, well, we're going to continue to use petroleum products as the fuel for combustion engines because my thought is I'm going to take ownership of every fucking post office. We're going to do a little remodel. Yes, we are. I'm going to sue the shit on the United States Postal Service. And then everybody's going to do what I say today. Yeah, that's right. 